Welcome back. It has been a while that I didn't uh, upload any videos to YouTube and I am aiming to record seven videos in a row. Let's see how it's gonna work. I was busy with my other project called My Munich Journal. I have created an Instagram account and I was sharing, still I am sharing some posts what to do in the Munich because it has been difficult to like find the events that I might like and I would like to share this. So that's why I couldn't upload any videos so far but I know the application process is coming because the deadline is 31st of May and we are in the almost mid of May. So I really want to help you through this process. I know it is tough. I know you've been, you know, like exhausted, but I believe that you could do it because I did it. I mean, I did it super last minute. I submitted all my documents in the uh, 31st of May. If I done this, you could do it too. Since I want to upload seven videos in a row, I don't want to edit so much. That's why normally I don't use notes, but I'm going to use my notes. And today topic, today's topic is essay because I've been received several questions about writing an essay, especially for the tour application, because other than other universities, I mean, the other universities ask for motivation letter, which is okay, because I also share a video about it, but TUM doesn't require that one. And there's a specific topic given every year and you need to write an essay about this topic and let's get started with some tips and tricks but i really need to warn you i am not the best you know like i got you know the score just to pass but still i've learned from my mistakes and i asked my friends who got a great uh, score uh, via their essay so i just want to share uh, to make your process easier First of all, you know that in TUM website, there is this assessment. So if you have these points and this and that, you directly go to admission. And if you have lower than, you directly get rejected. But if you're in the middle somehow, so your essay is being evaluated. And after that, you, you will either go to admission or you will be rejected. But no matter how, so if you are not super sure, if you are not super well calculated and you say that, oh, you know, like, I am definitely passed in the first round, so I don't need an essay. Still, you need to submit something, but you can just, you know, like put something is okay. But if you know that you will be in the middle zone and you have to write, I think you should put a lot of effort on it. But it is worth it because unlike other uh, management universities, TUM doesn't require other um, exams. I mean, it requires from some countries like India, Pakistan, Egypt, I think. But for Turkey, so to say, like f from someone from Turkey who applying, you know, European countries, I needed to take a GMAT. But it was difficult to me because I studied architecture and I was a little bit far from all this exam mindset and so on. That's why also I'm far a little bit from writing thesis because I did the final project didn't require any thesis. So I'm also trying to write a thesis now. So I'm also learning about more to write academic papers. So I want to share those with you. To start with, <laughs> they change uh, terms UI UX a little bit, uh, how to apply process. It was very hard back in then, but still it is difficult. I struggle to find the essay topic, but I find the essay topic finally. This year's topic is slightly different than other years because the other years I remember we've been giving a technical topic and we need to examine this topic in, I don't know, economically, sustainably matters. And this one starts with digital transformation and goes, I'm not gonna read it, but if you couldn't find the document, I'm gonna also put it uh, into links and it gives you clear guideline, please do follow it. And especially it says that do not use ChatGPT, but I'm gonna kinda help you how you can leverage ChatGPT. So this is the, co um, this, this is the, uh, the topic of your essay. And as every university has, Tumo says it's a kind of language center or academic writing center. I would say that you should also definitely use your universities Although you get graduated, you can easily write an email saying that I'm going to apply this university and I've written this, you know, can you review or can we have a session and discuss a little bit? So I think it's really beneficial. Tum also has it and they provide a really good guideline that I'm going to share with you as well. Because what I discovered about 
writing, especially this academic writing, there is a structure. So if you follow the structure, you could do it. So uh, this is very important tool because it explains what should be the structure. I'm not gonna mention, you know, like the basics of writing a paper. I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the way that Tune wants it. So structure is important. One of the fr my, my friends who prepare a really good uh, essay, but I seen that actually she prepared a research proposal. She didn't write a full like um, essay, which I did. Uh, so it might be better to write a proposal in this in this sense. So she put abstract, which I didn't have. So have an abstract. And also this file that I'm mentioning has a really clear statement of what abstract should involve. So, you know, like it should start with these sentences, it should go with this and that and finalize it. Writing an abstract is really easy if you follow this structure. There was an abstract and then she put the content part in the first page. And then the content part involves, you know, like the intro main and it's going to be in this page. And then it stays like one is introduction and 1.1 1 .1 is problem statement and 1.2 is research question. Is she really prepared a good uh, structure and outline which I didn't create even. Mine was literally just four paragraphs, you know, in a row. And then she put a state of art. So for, um, because in our case, we should examine for, you know, each specific topic, you know, sustainability topic economic um, aspect so she put it these um, three paragraphs and she also put those into her content and under state of art then she put materials and methods and expected results because in her case it was a um, research proposal and then potential conclusion and then continue with the work plan you know like i'm gonna work on this a uh, little bit like time and action plan and then she ended up with references but I'm not saying that you have to follow up this research proposal mindset, but also you can just check the file that I'm going to share and it's clearly states that what you need to do. What I didn't do it would be really nice to name all these paragraphs and create the content and also share all those um, the titles, subtitles and their page because structure is important and you get uh, points. In general, um, Writing essay starts with this preparation and execution, writing it and reviewing it. For prep part, I have some tips for you. While you're uh, preparing, you can use Google Scholar if you know uh, specifically the name of the article or the author, because if you don't, you can get lost. But you can use Web of Science or Scopus or any database that your university enables you to reach. So you can make your research on that, but maybe you will have limited access to that specific um paper but at least you know like you can check the cross citations and then see what kind of uh, papers would be beneficial for then you can go back to google scholar and then search it also how we can leverage chat gpt's similar to that direction you can ask given a specific topic uh, you can ask it to name it some articles but although it gives you some articles it is not super super um, it's to find those articles as well. So maybe, you know, you can ask those questions where I can find this. this is the prep part. Obviously you should sit down, make really good literature review and collect all those and check your university resources and see what kind of, you know, like kind of make your mind up how you can use those as papers and how you can um, cite those. And the writing part, I know it is difficult, but what I would suggest just Block one day in your calendar, focus, write it down and, you know, make um, airplane mode on your phone, tell everyone that, you know, they shouldn't access you. So I, I know it's great, a lot of pressure, I need to write it, you not, I need to write it, but you postpone it. Just write it because it's going to change. So I think the most, most, most important part is reviewing part for this. In the prep step, I suggest you that you ask people who might review. In this case, I ask my prep uh, professor in the university. You can use definitely writing center of the university. You can ask your friends who are doing their PhD, good at this academic writing. What I did for the topic part, I linked in it. I linked in people who are doing their PhD on this specific topic. I reached them out. Some of them replied, some of them didn't, but they were really, the ones who replied, they were really 
open to help so you can also leverage this as well it is a good resource but now his time is limited i would you know write to those people now and then they will reply in a week and meanwhile i would write my essay and then let them review it so this is more towards topic direction for english part please go have it like grammarly pro whatever it definitely checks the grammar mistakes and so on but also um gives you some you know like um you can use this word instead of this so it is important for the language matter I wouldn't worry so much because I think it is important in every academic writing just to clearly state what you want to state. Do not try to be like over, be like super sophisticated or be like try to be smarter than you are. You are already smart, just write it down. So I think it's important. But also for reviewing, I remember I have a friend, uh, she got almost 120 from um, TOEFL. And I was like, yeah, you should, you know, like, can you please review my, and so I shared this editable version of Google Docs and it was really helpful, so on. And also, so this is um, what I can suggest to you. So the mistake that I made, if I need to summarize that, I just wrote uh, just three, four paragraphs that I didn't use any structure. Structure is important check the document and maybe you can go back where I mentioned about my friend's um, structure and put an abstract, put an uh, outline, the content part, and then put this title, subtitles, put your references and everything. And it's also in the paper, it says that what kind of font and what is the size you need to use, just uh, stick to that and you will do it. For this um, reviewing part, is important that you take these steps now on and then you block a day in your calendar just you know to write it if you already written good job i mean you're another last minute person like i am so what you can do now maybe you can uh, do this structure go back to your paper see what is um it is well structured or not you can ad do adjustments or maybe you can um use this reviewing advice that i gave it to you so this is what i would like to share about writing essay uh, to be get accepted from tom so i got what i really needed and i know that i'm not a good resource but i am a person who learns from uh, her mistakes <laughs> that's what i wanted to share with you and overall i know it is frustrating it is a difficult process but it is worthy and for this also i'm just thinking brainstorming maybe we can create a one whatsapp group that i can also share the link below here then you can comment i think you can you know like i know it's a kind of competition in that sense but two has no quota for the people uh, being accepted if you are um just matching with the requirements you will be accepted the hard part is moving munich and um you know like bearing all the cost uh, that it brings to you and I would say that, um, you know, like a peer learning, peer helping is important. And I know that you might feel that you're alone in this process, but you're not. There are like many people struggling the same. Any um, questions in your mind, first Google it. Don't come to it directly. But other than that, if there's anything that I might help, please comment it because I'm going to um, post another video uh, tomorrow and I'm thinking, about to write how life is Munich because I have some um, questions about how um, you know like I got accepted from this and now I'm applying to which one I should choose I can't say you something but at least I can share my experience which help you or you know guide you to make your own decision so yes and one more thing and I really didn't think that while I was recording these videos, I would reach so many people. I'm super, super, super thankful. And if you can, you know, like just subscribe or like and share would be really, really important because that uh, seeing uh, many views and many followers got me back to recording YouTube videos again. And because I was really not planning, um, I was really focused on my uh, Instagram uh, account that I recently created called My Munich Journal. If you ever come to Munich, please do follow because I'm sharing really nice content there as well. Have a great day and let me know which topics you want me to talk about in this coming seven days. One is gone and there's six to go.